can take this. All right, let's uh, see who's in here, who's in the room. We'll flip the camera around. Hello, my YouTube friend. We're in the shop. We're going to spend about an hour or so working, getting some work done, and uh, hanging out. All right, let me see who's in the chat. Uh, Uncontrol and K. Hello, Rex. Hello, John. Hello. Hey, Troy. Hey, Stanley Swagger. All right, sweet. Oh, hey, expensive cardboard. Okay. Uh, oh, I made myself a little card of what I need to do. So let's, let's, here, I made myself a little messy to-do card. Okay, so first I need to find, um, I still have one or two mystery boxes left from my patreon from like a year ago and finally uh the person started asking for a few of the things they saw in the videos hey jason hey ted so they wanted the child big mom which i uh, can't grab with one hand so let's put the camera down set it up so you can see me okay child big mom let me get that put that to the side Okay, and then, uh, hey Steve, hey Simone. Okay, let's see, the other one they wanted was, uh, oh, let me show you. Actually, I had some uh, anime come in. I did a small trade. I think I ended up giving them about 50% in store credit. It's a little bit lower than I have in the past, but it was all newer anime pops. So I'm not too confident. I mean, they'll probably sell. But I just, there's so many of them out there that I don't want to um, pay too much for them at the moment. I'm being very, very, very picky right now with what I trade for. And PPG is a little bit high. So I'm not 100% sure if they'll sell at PPG price or they might, um, I might have to negotiate. Like it might be one of those whatnot things where I have to sell them for cheaper. So yeah, I did a little trade. I traded for that one, that one, that one, that one. Uh, I think there was a, yeah, Nausicaa, this one right here, that Nausicaa and, um, or Nezuko, I mean, Nezuko, and, uh, I guess that's it. Oh, no, I think there's two, oh, yeah, and a Marvel one. We got a Zombie Hunter, Spidey, and that might be it. Oh, Jerry, that's awesome. I love that you're watching me work while you're working that's amazing uh scott that's awesome i love you that you love the live a uh, pop walks is getting there we're only 31 away if you guys don't follow me on pop walks follow me there i'm so close to a thousand yeah expensive cardboard i think it's yeah send the best of the best because sending all the tapes is so expensive that the best of the best probably makes a lot more sense uh don't mind you know what and if it helps Send the DVDs if they're just regular single cases. Like, if they're not special cases, but regular. You can send the DVDs without the cases, if that helps. Because I give me the art and the DVD if it's just a regular case. Because I can just, you know, use one of the cases I have there. If that helps you with the weight, do that with the DVDs. Uh, okay, uh, what was... Awesome. Well, I tried to set up the new stuff. What was it? Was this the Spidey oh there? And was there anything else? They're all there. They're all there? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think we got all that. Uh, oh, let me see. Okay. The other pop they wanted was a... Do we have... Do you remember, Allison? A Tokyo Ghoul... Um, Ginzu Shinazu? Shirazu? They said they saw in a video like a day or two ago. I don't know. Some people ask me for stuff from like a week or two ago. But honestly, we go through a lot of stuff. A week or two is way too much time. Um... Uh, you know, let me go to widescreen so you can kind of see what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, they'll go out probably tomorrow. I finished them all up, but the pickup didn't come today. The um, post office is really bad. Sometimes it delays. But yeah, everything is packaged up, ready to go. It just, I'm waiting for the post office to pick it up. 
That's the only thing. My biggest problem is get. Oh, there it is. That one right there. My biggest problem is getting the post office to pick up packages. It really frustrates the crap out of me. Because then I would sell more more often. Because I don't want to have to wait. Okay, I grabbed the two. They're on hold. Hey, TJ. Um, Allison, can you weigh that one package for me? Oh, okay. So we have uh, David. I don't. I don't think I saw you, but I have your trade package, three pounds, three ounces. Okay, so I'll get that out as well in tomorrow's mail, and then. Um, uh, I'm not unboxing for my collection again until uh, I get everything priced. Like, Allison's been pricing all day. I think she's priced out. Uh, what is priced out? Yeah, so this is all this is priced out for the shop. So she's been working on that all day, pricing that. Oh, Dustin and Darius. See, I have to, I can't look because if I start seeing them and seeing that they're worth 47 like someone said I should have kept that one. If I start seeing 47 I'm going to want to keep them. So I'm trying to avoid looking because I don't want to second guess myself. But we're finding some that are more valuable than I remembered. And there was one that, I don't think you'd want it. I think it was 50 The, oh. the green monster was like 50 Oh, the Philadelphia one? Our Red Sox, I mean, uh, he was 47. I can sell them though. I think I'm okay getting rid of that. I don't, I'm not a Red Sox fan. Hey, Tina. All right, I'll see you later, Tina. Yeah, my, my post office is such a pain in the ass. But everything, I got everything packaged up yesterday. So it's all, it was supposed to be picked up today, but they didn't come. So we're going to have to complain. Usually what I do is I complain to the guy that delivers stuff. And since I've been winning stuff daily on whatnot, I see him every day. So I'll have to do that. Um, I'll have to tell him that. Okay, so what do we got? We got... Uh, oh, Donald wanted me to grab... Allison, do you know where we have the Hamilton Pops? Just, there's one right on the shelf over here. Where I am, right? There's one over here, I think. Which I'll put that on hold for you. Since you're sending me stuff to trade. Uh, I might have moved them though, Alice. I don't remember. Ah, uh, yeah. Pretty sure we have a Hamilton. Alright, we're going to look for uh, 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 Hamilton. Hey, Paul. How are you, Farad? Uh, we got... Uh, Alright, Hamilton Pop. And... Oh, I'm looking for the two Twisted Sister albums. Where did I put those? I still have some stuff on hold for people too. So if you still want them, I do have them for the next whatnot show. Okay. Uh, let's see what you, Donald wanted under the blade and stay hungry. I forget which one is which under the, oh, okay. I got to double check that one and then uh, st stay hungry. Okay. I gotta figure out because my record guy wants me to get forty eight for them. I gotta talk to Donald to double check if um if he's okay with that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's I moved it, Jason. I think I actually moved it yesterday or two days ago. Um, KT, if you're watching this afterwards, I come out and play, and uh, you can't stop rock and roll or the two that Donald didn't want. So I'm gonna pull those. I'm gonna just double check values and all that for um, Donald. Uh, okay, so we're gonna put those away. I mean, not away, but I'm putting those because those are possibly trade for the really cool Ziggy art that he's been trading me. Um, Nirvana, I don't. Nirvana albums are like gold. You just don't find it that easily. And when you do, it's really, really, really expensive. Uh, God of War, I think we actually have a bit out right now. Question is, where did I put Hamilton? Like, I feel like Hamilton didn't have a section. Oh, this is so weird. Because I know I was, like, trying to put movie ones together. Uh, oh, I'm looking over here. This whole area is messed. Oh, someone wanted Hateful Eight, too, during the last stream. So I have the Hamilton George Washington. Expensive cardboard. Do you want the George Washington from Hamilton? Where is it? Right in the middle? Oh, oh, Austin's got it. Yeah, there we go. I have the uh, George Washington. It says the cardboard. If you want me to hold that one for you, I'll, I'll just start making a pile of stuff you want. And if you see anything else you want, I'll put it to the side. 
Hey, Diana, how are you? Okay, so I got the Pops, I got Donald's records, and I weighed uh, David's stuff. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just, this is the one. If you want that one, I'll put that, yeah, okay. We'll put that on hold for you. Put that in the hold pile. There we go. If you see anything else you want as I'm walking around, let me know. Since I'm going to owe you, I don't know how much you're sending, but I think it's, what, like $100 worth of stuff? Something like that. Or at least, like, 60 I want to, um pull out stuff uh okay what was my next to do got it okay let's see if that works are we back all right i'm back i forgot to go on cellular i also forgot to remind me and i always forget uh i don't have any kratos i don't think yeah around 1600 we have oh we have a water damage kratos like our old expensive one uh, okay, let me go. I'm going to go through tapes. I think I have uh, room for about 50 more tapes. So my goal today is to clean up this corner. Get this done. I was trying to make a whole list of all the things I needed to do today just so I could be productive. Uh, my voice is a little bit groggy. So I was going to do possibly a small whatnot sale today just for the people that had stuff on hold. But I think I have to wait until um, next week. I'm more now. I've been working my booty off the last, uh, what you might call it, the last couple of days. I do have um, Sunday. I made, uh, uh, or, or I'm going to work out a deal with Street Sign Anthony to start selling comic books at his place on a whatnot show. Uh, it was completely dunked in water, so it's 100% the worst water damage box you can have. So it's really for people that want it out of the box. I didn't throw out the boxes because the boxes help um, you know, prove that's a legit one and not a bootleg. So I did keep the box for that purpose. But, yeah, it's pretty much an out-of-the-box pop because the box was completely dunked in water. Uh, ACDC, I think I am out at the moment. I might have one. We can go look in one second. Let me just find... Um, at least one little stack of stuff. Man, there's really no nothing good in this box. At least nothing I or recognize. Well, maybe there's good stuff. I just don't recognize it. I want to get that wall filled so I feel like it's as best use of the space as I can get. Uh, there's a lot of really oddball stuff here. All right, let me find another box. This box kind of sucks. <laughs> I tried to find anything recognizable. Uh, I, I, the two pack I ended up keeping, I saw it yesterday in my, uh, collection. I'm keeping that set just because of how rare it is. The two pack of Ratchet and Clank is pretty darn awesome. So I understand that you would want that one. Makes total sense. Because of how cool it is. Uh, but it's also one of those sets where I think it has very good long-term value potential. So I kind of wanted to hold on to it because I like the game and I like the characters. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm just trying to find enough. I want to fill out the one shelf full so we can finish, you know, having enough. Right, here we go. There. Oh, I can't do this one handed. So I'm going to just do it single handed. I don't know why I still have some stuff tapes I see. I'm like, why do I still have like Bruce Springsteen tapes? Those just sold two years ago. They must have just been buried and not found. Uh, okay, let me go find the Kratos. Well, Kratos and ACDC. Let's take a look. Hey, did you, Brett? Kratos. I try to pull out all the water damage because I'm willing to do... Uh... All right, I got 50 bucks on him. Oh, I got him priced at 50. I would do 40 because I've had him... Oh, oh, come on. Go straight. Go straight. There you go. This, I, he, his box is completely trash. So he's basically out of the box. I would do uh, 40 bucks on him, though, if you end up wanting him. Basically, all these ones are ones that were water damaged really badly. And I've had them long enough that I'm willing to do deals on them. Uh, Ted, I was... I, um, I realized I was on the Wi-Fi. That gets really bad in the back. So what happens is I... Um, uh, I had to reset it, and it dropped it off all right oh acdc i'm out oh you know what that's the other thing i needed to do i need to make a list of the artists i'm really low on for my record guy i actually allison can i dictate to you can you write down names 
I gotta go get a uh, a pad of paper over here, or just a piece of paper. Oh. We don't have any pads, right? Just... No. Here, here's a piece of paper. Grab a pen. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do this. This is a job I've been meaning to do for weeks. So I'm actually, I'm going to dictate. I need to let the record guy know what stuff I need to um, restock on. All right, Austin, you ready? Okay, one second. Oh, Austin's been winning on. Uh, what not for me today too so hopefully next week i'll have a uh or in a couple weeks a uh rec oh just one one today okay uh we definitely need abba oh we do it we have uh voltage for 40. we do have one acdc it got pushed <laughs> in the wrong i don't get acdc that often so i'm actually surprised i still have some uh, let me know when you're ready um, ACDC, Paul Abdul, uh, don't really need more Brian Adams, uh, Aerosmith, Animals, Anthrax, B fifty twos. Uh oh Beach Boys. Uh Bangles. I feel like we only have one or two left of those. It should be is it YouTube is going crazy? Is can you double check? They keep saying they're going in and out. I know I had to reconnect the one time. Oh, King Crimson, too. They, he never gets me King Crimson. I have no idea why he never gets me King Crimson. I, it's, like, super rare for him to find it. Okay, it seems to be playing fine. Uh, Jeff Beck, I think we're good. BGs, we're pretty good. Uh, Chuck Berry. Big Audio Dynamite. Bon Jovi. Blue Oyster Cult. Oh, that's sad. Uh, Jason, I, um, if someone comes in and wants to get a record because they're really sad about it, I'm happy about it. But I don't really celebrate deaths. I usually don't put stuff out front when people die. I'm just happy to have a little bit if someone really wants it. Uh, Black Sabbath. Blondie. only have the one. Uh, boys and girls. Uh, David Bowie. Laura Branigan. Kate Bush. All right, well, just verbally let me know when you're done. That way, I'm. Um, I. Uh, Jimmy Buffett. James Brown. <coughs> uh, Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, I just said, it's sad. I had when um, Chadwick Boseman died, I had 20 people call if I had any Black Panther pa pops. I know a lot of those people were trying to flip them real quick. It's really sick. Uh, share. Uh, so what I did was I pulled out the one I did have for sale, and the first person that came in that was sad about it, uh, she just one of my regular. She came in. She was sad. And I was like, "Well, do you have any of his pops?" He's like, "No, I never bought any." I was like, "Well, I have one here for ten bucks," and I just sold it to her for ten bucks. I didn't have to sell it for the twenty or thirty that it went up in value. Uh, Carpenters. Johnny Cash. That cars I'm pretty stocked up on. Uh, is that? Sideways. All right, I gotta clean up these bins a little bit too. <laughs> They're all picked over. 
Okay, let's go over here. Uh, the Clash. Leonard Cohen. The Cocktail Clin Cocktail Clin Twins. Oh, jeez, I can't talk. <laughs> uh, Commodores. Alice Cooper. Credence Clearwater. Uh, Cosby Stills and Nash. Looks like a very, very... Oh, no, no, scratch that. I have a ton of their stuff. Scratch that. Crowded House. Culture Club. Damned. Deep Purple. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Kayla. Yeah, I mean, Clash, I'll get as much as you can. He doesn't get it that often, and he sells it to the other record shops. I usually get his stuff that uh, if the other record shop isn't buying, since I do consignment with him. So it's better for my cash flow, but uh, I don't get as good of stuff. But it works better for me because I don't like putting out a ton of money and having it sit. All right, uh, Duran Duran. Uh... Bob, D I mean, we have Bob Dylan. No, I guess we're pretty good with Bob Dylan. Uh, Depeche Mode. Def Leppard. Yeah, Depeche Mode. Again, he, I don't get it that often. I'll take as much as you can get. Uh, Devo. Dire Straits. Dawkins. Uh, I don't have... I usually do older vinyl. I don't really do newer vinyl, so I don't have Hamilton. Uh, Doobie Brothers. Yeah, we have zero of them. Uh, the Doors. Oh, that's the Eagles. Why? Oh, no, that is the Eagles. Okay, Eagles. Uh, Earth, Wind, Fire. Emerson Lake Palmer. I didn't realize we were so low on Emerson Lake. We only have two. At one point, we had like 30. Uh, ELO is okay. Wait, something fell in there. What's in here? Sometime... Oh, just empty. Okay, Electric Light Orchestra is pretty stocked up at the moment. Uh, oh, wait. Is Emerson Lake over here? Oh, never mind the Emerson Lake and Palmer. For some reason, it's over in the wrong section. So scratch that. I got plenty of that. Uh, eraser. Eraser. Eurythmics, Fine Young Cannibals, Fleetwood Mac, Roberta Flack, uh, Aretha Franklin, Future Sounds of London, Kenny G. We had a Kenny G section at some point. All right, well, I'll put some Kenny G in there. Uh, usually, most of these sections are whenever I had three or more records of a uh, artist. So, obviously, we sold three of them. Uh, Peter Gabriel. General Public. Marvin Gaye. Oh, music, one out of ten, because it's interrupting my uh, workflow here. One out of ten music rate. Uh, Marvin Gaye. Genesis, uh, Philip Glass, Grateful Dead. Uh, can you write Sam Cook? I need to make a Sam Cook section. Mmm, Kayla, that sounds delicious. Uh, the Go Go's and Belinda Carlisle. Al Green. Okay, I'm just I don't know if you're done or not. Uh, Hall Notes, Isaac Hayes, uh, Heart seems pretty good at the moment. All right, oh, uh, Jimi Hendrix, 
I always put Buddy, Buddy Miles in with Jimi Hendrix. Such a great drummer. Uh, Lena Horn. Whitney Houston. Human League. Okay. All right, Austin's got a repaper as I am uh, waiting for her. Okay, Human League. Ian Hunter. Billy Idol. In excess. Uh, yeah, Iron Butterfly's fine. Iron Maiden. Not that he'll find those, but I'll put them on the list. Isley Brothers. Uh, Michael Jackson. Uh, Janis Joplin. Got to move the Moody Blues in the proper spot. There we go. Uh, Tom Jones. Grace Jones. Quincy Jones. Joan Jett. Um, I think we're missing... No, we have... The yeah, Billy Joel's pretty good. Uh, Journey. I think I replaced a couple of these labels. That's on my to-do list. Uh, oh, I have Judas Priest. Wow. I did not know I had Judas Priest right now. I mean, they're not... Oh, 20 bucks. 28... I'm actually surprised I have Judas Priest in the shop at the moment. Uh, Shaka Khan. Carol King. Uh, I don't think I have Yo-Yo Ma or Arth Are We Alive. Uh, King Crimson. I usually don't do newer albums. I usually just do 80s stuff. I like the kind of classic vintage and it just... E yeah, we like 60s to 80s. I would do 90s too, but 90s don't come in. But like the 2000s, I don't because it's too fractured of an audience. That's impossible for me to have everything in stock that people want. Uh, you wrote King Crimson? Yeah. All right, Kiss. No Dream Theater, no. Eartha Kit. I almost do no newer stuff. Uh, the Knack. Oh, I do have one Kiss hiding in the wrong spot. That happens. People put stuff. They either hide it or they just put it back, like, not paying attention. And I don't reorganize that often, the records. Like, once a month, I might go through them and kind of figure them out. Yeah, exactly. I like the more of the vintage than the modern, if I can. Even the pops, I'd rather have more of the vintage characters. Um, uh, cool in the Gang. Hey, Anthony. Anthony, I've been telling everyone that we're going to do a uh, comic whatnot show on Sunday night. I think people are getting kind of excited about it. Uh, Craftwork. Crocus. Uh, Cindy Lopper. Only have one Cindy Lopper. Uh, the thing is, I would keep more, like, metal or modern music in the store, but I don't have the space for it, and I can't get it easily. So I don't really like stocking stuff that's almost impossible for me to restock, because then uh, that's not what my customer base is. Uh, Loving Spoonful. Jerry Lee Lewis. Led Zeppelin. Huey Lewis. Lover Boy, Leonard Skinner, Madness, Madonna. Okay. Let me know when you're done with Madness and Madonna. Uh, Leonard Skinner was uh, Madness, then Madonna. Mamas and the Papas. 
Bob Marley. Don't need Dave Mason. Don McLean figure. Uh, Meatloaf. Men Without Hats. Men at Work. Uh, I think we could use some monkeys. We only have the one album like eight times. Uh, Misfits. I doubt he'll find Misfits. I would love to have like a collection of eight Misfits records come in. Uh, Joni Mitchell. Midnight Star. Uh, New Order. I doubt he'll find New Order, but New Order is always in demand. Harry Nilsson. Laura Nairo. New Edition. Uh, Oingo Boingo. Love Oingo Boingo. Uh, OJs. Okay, Robert Palm is good. Graham Parker is pretty good. Uh, Dolly Parton. Uh, Misfits, yeah, I think Misfits made like a, a, a few albums. I've had as many as. I said, what's the most Misfits? Well, I think one guy traded in a stack of them at one point. I forget if there were singles and albums or if it was just out. Oh, Dolly Parton is hiding. Uh, Peaches. Tom Petty. I'm doing well. I'm going through. I'm trying to get a lot of my to do's done and making a list of all the artists I'm low or out of. Oh, I have a Tom Petty hiding. Oh, I hate when they get me. Oh, Dolly Parton. Yeah, people are putting the wrong stuff in the back here. Right, I'm going to set this up. So, yeah, I'm just trying to um, make a list of all the artists I'm low on so my record guy can help restock. It would be nice to put, like, a 1,000 records into the shop. Uh, Tom Petty was in the wrong spot. Allison, what were we up to? Tom Petty. Um, Pet Shop Boys. Okay, I actually have a, a Dolly album as well. Hiding in the wrong spot. Uh, Peter, Paul, and Mary. Oh, dear. Uh, here we go. That goes right there. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think we, we've been selling a little bit of Elvis lately, right, Allison? Because I feel like the Elvis section is actually kind of thinned out. You can add Elvis. I think Elvis is there. Yeah, Oingo Boingo on repeat is perfectly 100% acceptable to me. Oh, oh, I had it on repeat. Yeah, yeah. You can have Oingo Boingo on repeat all day long, and I'm a happy camper. Yeah, that's... Oh, <laughs> Allison... I mean, Jason, Allison knew it was you saying that Oingo Boingo was acceptable as a, a great choice. <laughs> uh, Poison. Pink Floyd. Uh, the Police. Only one album. Uh, Pretenders is good. A uh, Prince. Psychedelic Furs. Queen. Some of these artists, I just don't care as much because the other, you know, other record stores are going to pay him up front fifteen bucks for the record, so he doesn't have to put it on consignment with me. Uh, and I just, I, you know what, it's just records don't sell fast enough for me that I don't like to put out a ton of money and it's not my main, I love selling records, but it's not my main, um, Flock of Seagulls, I don't think I have a section. I should make, can you actually make a, um, Tears for Fears? I would like to make, I need some Tears for Fears. Uh, samples I don't have. Uh, Rainbow. Ramones. Lou Reed, R.E.M., Smokey Robinson, Rolling Stones, uh, Diana Ross. No, I think they're talking about the Misfits. Uh, Roxy Music. Rush, yeah, Ramones. I don't get them enough. I really like I maybe twice a year I get them. What's that? Any more people or should I just on the first page put another 
Uh, you can do a second row on the right side. You can do two rows. That's fine. Yeah, Ramones is super fun. Ah, uh, Sade. David Sanborn. Satana is still good enough. Uh, Bob Seeger. Pete Seeger. Nina Simone. Uh, Simply Red. Sinead O'Connor. Patty Smith. Sonic Youth. Are you caught up, Allison? Uh, Simon and Garfunkel, we still have a good amount, but we're going through those pretty quick. Yeah, you can write it. Um, I guess Bruce Springsteen, because we only have like five or six. Uh, Steely Dan. Uh, Steve Miller Band, Stray Cats, Barbara Streisand, which I'm surprised we, we have room in there. Though she never sells, but every once in a while has someone come and buy like five of them. Uh, Donna Summer, Super Tramp. I'm sorry, Austin. Tangerine Dream. We're almost done. Almost done. There's your Tangerine Dream. Uh, Talking Heads, Temptations, uh, I think we're good on those, okay, and then one more uh, row on the bottom here, which I still have to make room, basically, eventually, I need this to go there once I figure out what to do on the DVD shelves, I just haven't figured it out yet, uh, okay, uh, Tramps. Tina Turner, uh, Marshall Tucker Band, Robin Trower, Robin Trower, T R O W E R, U two, Uriah Heep, Luther Vandross. Uh, Van Halen, Van Morrison, Suzanne Vega, uh, Tom Waits, Wang Chung. Can you, um, do we have a George Michael or a Wham section? Uh, Wham, all right, George Michael and Wham. War. Yeah, records are just really fun. Just the whole aesthetic of them. Uh, uh, I did um, Wang Chung, George Michael and Wham, and War. Grover Washington Jr. Uh, Dion Warwick. Barry White. Uh, who is still very stocked up? Jackie Wilson, uh, Jackie Wilson, Stevie Wonder, X. Uh, these shelves are kind of like other artists I don't really have sections for. X? Yeah, just X. Like I put everything else just on the random shelves. So we have like Lauren Holland, or I'm not sure who that is, or the Rascals, or oh, Ten Years After actually has a section. And every once in a while, I'll add a section. If it's uh, if I feel like there's room for it, uh, Neil Young and Frank Zappa. Right, let me QRS ten. 
10 years after. Okay, let's put that right there. Okay, and then uh, I, I think I want to try to get some of the better jazz if you'll get it. Let me see. I think I have jazz. Yeah, Ella Fitzgerald. Um, Duke Ellington. What sections do we have? Uh, BB King. Shirley Basie. All right, uh, all right, this box is hard to do because it's not proper. John Coltrane, Miles Davis, Ray Charles, Duke Ellington. We have a couple, but I'll get more. Um, Fats Domino, Maynard Ferguson, Ella Fitzgerald. Okay. Herbie Hancock. Okay, just read it here. Uh, hold on a second. I got this box down so I can see. It's hard to balance and also tell you. Okay, read off the ones that you got in order. Wait, wait. Start with BB King. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ray Charles. Oh, Ray Charles, John Coltrane, Miles Davis, Duke Ellington, uh, Fats Domino. Uh, Maynard Ferguson. Okay. Uh, all right, Jason, I'll fix the Zappa in a second. Uh, yeah, I, she's in the regular section. Uh, just write it down if, if, if you don't see her. Uh, Herbie Hancock. All right, Charlie Parker. Bud Powell, Sonny, Sonny Stitt, S-T-I-T-T, -T, and Chick Corea. Uh, it was uh, Bud Powell. Okay, I think that's it. Is there any 80s artist that's popular that I just don't have sections for that you guys think, why doesn't he have that? Let me know, because I'll add that to the list. I know if there's stuff I don't have that I should have. Uh, I mean, Allison, you can add a list too, if you can think well, I mean, there's of... There's stuff that's on there, but he never gets it. But, but, but maybe he'll get it. Oh, yeah, right? The Cure Morrissey. This whole ZZ Top is all messed up. Uh, right, write that down. Write that down, Allison. Susie and the Banshees. Who else do we want? Oh, there's three Zappas in there. That's good. See, see, top easy. Yeah. All right. Okay. Zappa. Mothers of Invention. All right, there we go. Uh, what other 80s artists? A uh, Motley Crue. Write Motley Crue down. I usually don't get it that often. I don't have a section, but yeah, Motley Crue, I should have. Uh, poison. Do we put Poison now? We have a Poison record in the Oh, oh, we have it in the better section. Okay. Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, sure, Ozzy Osbourne. That kind of goes with Black Sabbath, but you can write that down. Anything that's kind of like a mid-level that, um, like, you get, because the really high-end stuff, he's not going to find that, or he's not going to sell that. Like, he's not going to sell us the Red Hot Chili Pepper records. So this is, like, some of the newer stuff. Uh, okay, Reed says, uh, the church. Church, I don't think I'm going to get. Crowded House, we should have. Um, split Ends. I think we got Split Ends, E-N-Z. S-P-L-I-T-E-N-Z. Uh, Digibrat says Pet Shop Boys. I don't think we have a Pet Shop Boys section. We should have that. And uh, I said Duran Duran, correct? Yeah. I all actually I really really appreciate you guys mentioning other artists because there may be something that I should get. Uh, I did say Kate Bush. I do try to get Kate Bush occasionally. Like I have some r random new stuff and random metal in this box, and some stuff like this. I just don't know what to do with some of this stuff. 
Even though it's like some of it's like bigger name, like Machine Gun uh -huh. Kelly. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, aha uh -huh would be good actually. I don't even know what's in here. A little comments. This is three full pages. All right, three. I know. I just I want to give them as much idea of what they get as possible. Just so that we can. Um, I want to restock as much as possible. I would like to get a good thousand new records in the shop because a thousand records. Uh, yeah, I definitely have a door section. Um, you know, a thousand new records for like ten bucks a piece. That's ten thousand dollars, and I split it with him. So that's five thousand dollars potential profit. So I love it when he brings me a whole giant stack of records. That keeps me in business. Okay, thank you, Allison. Okay, I'm gonna finish these cassettes. And you guys feel free, while I'm kind of doing the cassettes, it's easier for me to answer questions because I'm not doing anything other than moving cassettes into the box. So right now is a great time to ask me, even if you want to ask me silly questions. Uh, yeah, I think, oh, Motorhead, Allison. I don't, Allison, can you hear me? Okay, Motorhead. Uh, we got Suixi and the Banshees. We just, he doesn't get that. Those are hard to find. Hard to find album from the 80s. So we don't get them that often. And, and me, I mean, in general, metal stuff is kind of hard. Like, I would love, uh, can, uh, Allison, just write Faith No More. I'm just going to put it down. Just to remind him that I want that. Uh, this one box of two dollar tapes is all kind of junk <laughs> i'm not like i'm like uh, no one's ever gonna buy any of these i should try to find a bulk buyer that wants to buy them for like a quarter a piece something like that sometimes i wish i had more bulk buyers just to clear out stuff uh faster See if I recognize anything. All right, you know I have a few brand, like boxes like this up top that might be slightly better. Okay, get that in there. I love Faith and More. I saw uh, Sto uh, Stone Roses might be too new. What time year did Stone Roses come out? If it's '90s, it's not really something that I can easily find because they didn't make as many records back. You know, in the 90s, they became more collectible. So very limited release and not, um, uh, you know, not stuff that you could just get easily. I feel like there should be some slightly more. I got Dire Straits. Oh yeah, the big record halls were fun. I will with now that I'm just live streaming and not editing, like those that video, the big record hall videos were really hard to film. But now that I'm doing live streams, I can do it. That when the records come in, we can do one big record day. I don't know how many people watch it, but I, it's just kind of fun to look through the records and see what kind of cool ones he um, finds and whatnot. Because I'm really low on records, so it would be nice to give him. And I just he keeps asking me to give him a list of actual artists to restock because he doesn't know what i need so i like the idea of just i need to give him the list now that i have a list uh hopefully he can get me a bunch of that i don't know if he'll get all of that but if he could get me a whole bunch of it that would be pretty awesome uh i doubt he'll find i can write dancing but i doubt he'll find dancing dancing is so rare dancing misfits all that's like super rare to get or any punk stuff in general is really hard to get Austin's talking to me or the customer. Austin, you talking to me or customer? Yeah, no, I know. We can write down Nine Inch Nails, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Rage Against the Machine, Primus, 311, like all the the bigger, you know, Nirvana, Soundgarden, like. I can't, I'm not going to write all that down because we're not going to find He's not going to find that. Or when he does find it, it's like an $80 to $100 record. And he usually, he looks everything out up and just prices it out. Sometimes I think his pricing is a little high. But since I'm taking on consignment, I just have to deal with it. Uh, oh, Joy Division. Joy Division would be great. I don't have... 
Is it just write it down just in case? Droid division is impossible, but it's good. Uh, in excess, I did have a section. Yeah, I don't even think about Joy Division because it's so rare for me to get any Joy Division records. Like, I'm trying to think of stuff that is semi... Like, I feel like I've been listening to some um, Tears for Fears. I feel like he would be able to find those more easily. So that's why I want to add that. Um, but, like, the really popular collectible stuff is really, really hard to get. So it's more likely I'm not going to get it. That's why I don't have section of that stuff because I hate... Honestly, I hate having sections of that stuff because people come in and they're like, oh, they got uh, Iron Maiden, and they get really excited, and they look, and there's no Iron Maiden in the box. And they're like, ah, oh, they don't have any. So I don't like having people's hopes get really high. And then, I mean, I still leave some sections in there, so I should try to fill them up or find a way to pull out the tabs. But I, um... Uh, Sisters of Mercy, he's not going to have that. That's for sure. I don't even know if I've ever had a Sisters of Mercy in the shop. What he'll find is more of the uh, stuff that was popular. Oh, Allison, can you write Ohio Players and Parliament Funkadelic? I got to get the good uh, soul and funk stuff. Always forget to tell him to grab that. But, uh, and I should have sections for those, but they don't. he doesn't get them that often. So when he does get it, it sells really, really quick. Uh, oh, uh, Alice of Bad Religion. That's a good artist, actually. The the list. Uh, Black Flag. I'm not going to get any Black Flag. I don't think he'll find that. And when he does, he probably you know tries to get it like forty bucks for each. And he probably gets it from the other record shops. Which the great thing is when he needs money and it's like a bad time of the year. He'll bring really good records to the other record shop, but they won't have a lot of money. So he'll end up bringing me like a hundred better artist records. And I love when that happens. That's kind of the best. Like when he actually has Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin for me, that's absolutely the best. I would buy Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, David Bowie every day if people traded them in. Queen, that kind of stuff. But I don't get a lot of trade. I think there's just not a lot of records around anymore. It's not like, I feel like comic books I can find everywhere. Records, it just, they get gobbled up so quick that the supply is really low. It used to be 10 years ago, I could find records pretty easily. I'd find like garage sales in the neighborhood. And you, as you guys saw on my walking channel, I did find like, you know, 10 records two weeks ago and those are all sold already, or most of them sold. So it's just not like, they sell when I get them. Bad flag or black. <laughs> just get the fake version. <laughs> Jason and his jokes. All right, I'm just trying to find... Like, I don't think there's much of value in these cassettes. I'm just trying to find more name. At least, you know, like, Henry... Um, Harry Connick Jr. Like, someone might want that. It's not really that sellable, but at least it's a known name compared to, uh, I don't know, Bros the Time. I don't know what Bros... Maybe Bros the Time is awesome. I just don't know who Bros the Time is. Like, Johnny Winter, at least he's knowable, but he's not, like, super soluble. <laughs> oh, crap, we got a Prince in there, though. Every once in a while, I'll find a tape. I'm like, why is that in there? Prince is going into my top shelf box right there. All right. Oh, you know what I wanted to do, too? I have three... All right, yeah, right here. I have these three boxes that are my CD boxes. I think I actually, I'm going to tape them together and I'm going to put a row of three or four CD boxes right here of just the best CDs I have and try to do the same thing as I'm doing with the tapes. So it's just like a really, really, really good section. Uh, so kind of Walt Disney trivia. Oh, as you can see, Allison, do we sell a second board game? Jason, what's your college band? If there were, in, well... I don't think I would have any local Atlanta band stuff. If, if you were like in New Jersey, I probably would have it. Oh no, maybe someone just pulled out something. Yeah, no, no, I think I had stuff underneath. So I think we sold two board games so far out of the reorganization, which is great. I like seeing stuff sell. 
Uh, okay, let's go get some regular tape. I'm going to tape those boxes up and actually get those. Even though I still got to work on the tapes, the tapes are boring me. <laughs> Sometimes I got to jump around a little bit. You got, uh, all right, Alice has it. Just hold it there in case I need you to add anything else I can think of. New Haven, okay. Jason, I'm sadly have never heard of your band. <laughs> Hi, Disgusting Devastator. All right, I am going to tape some boxes together. You're going to watch me tape boxes. The fun of listening to the air conditioner as I tape boxes. There we go. I'm going to make the uh, CDs right here. I actually... When I tape boxes for the store, I tape them kind of differently. I tape the inner flap on the outside so that it um, the CDs can slide safely inside. So basically, if you can see, I tape it that way so that there's a smooth bottom so that everything can slide without getting a hit. And then what I do is I tape all the folds on the outside to make it a really strong box so that it can take up a beating in a retail environment. Because obviously in a retail environment, people are going to be sliding the boxes around and damaging them and looking through them. So I tape the flaps down just to make it into a much stronger box. And so this is a quick way. These boxes are, I don't know, 50 cents, 75 cents. It's a quick way for me to merchandise stuff by just making a box like this. I mean, it's not super quick. I'm Here I am, I'm taking 10 minutes to tape it up. But it's a cheap way to create a merchandise box that looks, you know, clean enough. It's not perfection, but it's clean enough to um, keep this stuff kind of more organized. And right now I just have a bunch of chaotic CD boxes. So I've been meaning to clean up the CD boxes. Uh, this flap is really wanting to pop out. I'm going to tape this down as best as I can. Okay. One CD box coming up. One CD box, that should be pretty tough. It'll be able to um, take a beating. Uh, uh, Hip-hop, R&B, I just don't get much of it. Like, you know, if you're going to get a, a Notorious B.I.G. or a Tupac or, a, you know, that's all 90s stuff. So that's the equivalent of Nirvana. Now, you don't really have rap and hip-hop in the 80s too much. You have a couple... Uh, I have 50 bucks on the Red Robots. If you buy a whole set, though, I do 30 on them. It's just, if people want just the Red Robot by itself, it's 50. Um, yeah, I played the bass for a while. I wasn't really good at it, but I loved, I just love the sound of a good bass. Yeah, no, I, I realize that. That's amazing, actually. Is it out of sync? Let me see. Is, uh, here's my lips. Here's my lips. Is it out of sync? Here's my lips. My lips talking. I don't know if it's out of sync. If it is, if if it's not, oh KRS One actually had KRS One. Well, KRS One is dirt. Are they early '90s or late? Like uh, Digital Underground, I think is also probably too late. I know Jason, but I was never that good. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I would have any skills. But yeah, my rap, hip hop. I have a lot of oddball rap and hip hop, like modern stuff. The 90s stuff that people really want, I just, like Wu-Tang Clan, I just, you can't find it. You can't find it cheap, at least. Jason, I'll make you, uh, oh, I'm out of sync. Okay, let me, uh, okay, I'm going, yeah, out of sync. Okay, I'm going to um reset the app. 
So give me one second. I'm going to uh, close it and reset it. Okay, I'm going to uh, close it and reset it. I think... Or YouTube. One or the other. Uh, it's happened before. Hopefully that fixes it. I hope. I hope that fixes it. Because I hate when it's out of sync. Otherwise, I, I just have to talk very slow and not do anything. <laughs> Alright, let's fill up this box with one box of the best music I have in the store. Like, I want just the best in this box. I don't want anything random and not awesome. Question is, what do I have? All right, you guys can tell me if there's something that I, I'm silly passing up. Uh, I know I saw... Oh, all right, Sade. Sade is... Go. Yeah, we have Simply Red. Uh, Hall and Oats. I'll pull that out. Looking for better than that, though. Where do we... Did someone go through these, Austin? Because I know I had one box. Oh, yeah, this is the box right here. That has the best stuff. Let me move the one box... Okay, so this is the box I know had, you know, like, um, Elvis Costello can go in there. Not, you know, mid-tier mid quality. I mean, good music, but not sell as sellable. But Rolling Stones is kind of what I'm looking for. Beatles. Uh, yeah, Dark Side of the Moon. Like, I feel like this should have sold already. Dark Side of the Moon. John Coltrane. Uh, Velvet Underground. Like, CDs, you know, just the stuff. These are records you would sell so well. No, that's a I call I grabbed the whole and oats, but I mean sellable wise, not music wise. I mean sellable wise. As in, you know, Beatles is always going out and sell stuff. You know, Al Green will outsell Rihanna, basically, that kind of thing. Yeah, I have I have a lot of people that buy soundtracks just to have them, just to have them as cool. I mean to listen to them, but also just to have them as cool uh you know, wall art are cool to have in their collection. Like, I would buy a Logan's Run soundtrack or a um, Fantastic Planet soundtrack. Something like that I would be thrilled to have in my collection. Oh, there's Tears for Fear. Oh, I love this one. I'm actually going to listen to that. What? Oh, yeah, Star Wars soundtracks. We were out of... And any other soundtracks you know we're out of? Back to the Future, uh, Clockwork Orange. Yeah, or stuff like this. Jimi Hendrix always sells. Jimi Hendrix. Uh, talking... Like, this is the stuff, if it was an LP, it would sell for 15 bucks, 20 bucks, real quick, within a day or two. That's... I'm trying to find the CDs that if they were uh, records, they would just blow out. Or maybe just like bigger modern artists. Uh, mm, Earth, Wind, Fire sells well for me normally, but I'm trying to get just the biggest of artists that I have in here. Bruce Springsteen. Uh, Bruce Springsteen. All right, yeah, expensive cardboard. If you can keep it under 55 total, if you can get to like 52, 53, then you'll be able to ship it as one shipment. That works. Did you take off the uh, the DVD, I mean, the Blu-ray cases? Just so you can, I mean, not the blue, the, yeah, DVD cases. Wow, my brain is not working. Because I know that would save a lot of weight. Oh, yeah, we have a whole little Rolling Stones section here. These all should go into that box. Rolling Stones, Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones. Um, put Police in there. Great album. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. We can we can play that too. That'll go into high rotation. I didn't know there's good stuff in this box, Allison. The stuff the guy just traded in or, or donated. Yeah. Oh, I was like, oh yeah, it's all good stuff. I'm pulling out stuff I want to listen to. Here. This is a Taylor Swift. Oh, Allison said nothing but Taylor Swift is allowed to play in the store. <laughs> Fuck, I have to fire Allison. She, 
she, she she's already out the door <laughs> you can't you can't fire the boss though the boss is always the boss someone have to buy her out i guess uh, please yeah this is all really good stuff i feel like this is the stuff that should be selling uh yeah allison i say roxy music yeah i said roxy music roxy always sells well for me i don't get it that often but when i do get it it sells I still need the end I'm gonna put. Yeah, do that. That'll save a few pounds. That sounds good. Perfect. Oh, Led Zeppelin. Yeah, Led Zeppelin. This was actually a really good collection of CDs. They just CDs just do not sell very well anymore. Like if I was like 20 years ago, this whole collection of music, I'd be like, holy crap, this is amazing, and be really excited to get it. Okay. All right. Put a Dell in there. Why not? Okay. Oh, so was it just this top box here that was his CDs? Uh, I think it was cool. All right, Hazies. See, and then there's stuff like Lenny Kravitz. I want to put in that box, but Lenny Kravitz does not sell anymore. But I still like him. Uh, all right, I, all right. Hall and Oates greatest hits will go into the box. I'll put that in the the box of goodness, the quality box. All right, I'm making this box look messy, but this is kind of a hard box to uh, um, use as a uh, oh John Legend. I'll put that. This is kind of a hard box to use for CDs because it's double layered and. I like the single layer boxes so people can move them around. Almond Brothers Band, I can put that in there. Billy Joel, James Taylor, Greatest Hits. Someone might want that. Uh, Sound like Dido Angel. I love that album, but that's not a not something that will sell. Best of Frank Sinatra is sellable. That will sell. Uh, Peter Gabriel. Did I miss Peter Gabriel? I didn't notice it. Tell me where the Peter Gabriel was, and I'll pull him out. Oh, there he is. There's so. I found it. That's what you're talking about. He's hiding right there. Yeah, I'll pull that out. You are correct. Hey, Brandon. Correct on that. Okay. Oh, I'll put Shade in there. Oh, Crosby Stills. Nash. Which album is that? Not, not as popular. Okay. Um, hmm. Man, I made a mess out of this box. All right, I feel like there should be something else in here. Oh, no, that's a whole box set. Okay, that's all that. I don't know what else I have in the other boxes are halfway decent. I don't know if there's any... Oh, there's a whole Bob Dylan pile right here. Bob Dylan can go in there. Uh, I'll put Madonna in there. Mm, I really, I want to switch to these boxes from all these kind of oddball boxes. They're just a lot nicer to have in the shop. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know how long I've gone total. Uh, only finale. I don't know if I need, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to grab the Earth, Wind, and Fire. I don't know why I didn't grab that. You're right, Jason. Jason, you're hired as my musical coordinator. Let's sell down the right side. Uh, there's gratitude. I don't know if gratitude is the best stuff, but I'll grab that. Earth, Wind, Fire always sells for me, at least record wise. We got so many like 90s and 2000s. That's the thing. You don't get records. You get 90 CDs left and right. 90 CDs are so common. I'll get those in every single pile of stuff that people trade in or give to us, donate to us. Hey, man in black. Uh, I want to 
my god i just need three or four more <laughs> three or four more just to make the best of the store pile oh i'll put the cranberries in there why not why not oh the beach I, i'm not gonna put this in here but i really like this movie i thought that was a really fun music i, I mean not music a very fun album i'm not i can't talk i'm tired my brain's not working very fun movie oh marvin gay can go in there Marvin Gaye. Uh, yeah, all these CDs really need a good uh, organization at some point. I just, the only thing is I don't really like spending too much time organizing this kind of stuff because it doesn't, it'll sell slightly better, right? Instead of selling a $50 worth a week, I'll sell maybe $70 for a couple weeks. So I make an extra 20 bucks, but then I spend five hours doing it. So $5 for 20 bucks, just not really worth it. That's why my CD section is a mess. Billy Joel can go in there. All right, one more, one more. One more. Uh, one more. Mm, no. I should maybe make like a 90s music section though. Oh, thank you, Reed. Yeah, oh, you know what? <laughs> I have half a drink drunk in Red Bull. Maybe that's I'm only on half Red Bull energy. <laughs> you are correct. All right, let's chug the rest of this Red Bull. Recharge. I, I woke up so tired today, though. I've been streaming so much this week. This week has been such a great, crazy amount of work. Mm. Okay, sweet. All right, today's been a, such a laid back laid back working on uh, my to-dos. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, don't make fun of him. Oh, all right, Roger Daltrey. All right, let's, uh, really want to finish the cassette tapes but i'm so bored with these boxes like i'm not i mean even though i'm selling all this it's not like i'm looking for myself i like when i dig through this if i find a really cool cassette it's exciting for me if i keep finding kind of mediocre stuff i'm just like eh, eh this is no fun so i gotta do it in like five minutes uh batches can't overload it because if i do it too much at once i get burnt out and i never want to look at a cassette again or whatever other job i'm trying to complete Right now, I'm just trying to get this one box neatly packed so I can get rid of one box. I'm hoping my goal is to get rid of a box. If I can do that, I'll be happy. Which, maybe I should work on this box because it's on the last legs. I counted the amount of empty of these size boxes. I'm up to 90 of them now. That means I've pulled 2,700 or so pops out of my collection. I feel like I'm making actually really good progress on it. Even though it's been almost a year. I, uh, that's the thing. I always tell people it takes twice as long to sell as it is to collect. So if I was collecting for, and but that's all, I have a store, so it makes it a little bit easier for me. Oh, no, I, I don't like burning media or music. I, to me, that's too sacrilegious. But uh, a cheap Funko Pop, I will definitely do that. Yeah, no, uh, Reed said he's going to smile. He's going to give me five bucks to burn a pop. <laughs> I might have a, I might have a, a, a sponsor a pop burn uh, show where I'll have a, a stack of them and people can pay to burn them or, or melt them. I'm going to get a heat gun. I'm not going to actually burn them. I'm just going to melt them because I don't want to start a fire. All right, at least try not to. I don't know if the heat gun will start a fire. Uh, yeah, I'm not... There's nothing in this box. This box is so boring. <laughs> no, not, not not today. I have this stuff because I can't do it in the store. I got to do it in the backyard and I got to set up a proper protection. Make sure I have a fire um, extinguisher on hand just in case. Oh, really? She was a friend of yours, Eric? She was, she was a beautiful singer. I absolutely loved her music. Still love her music. I still love the cranberries. Cranberries can actually overtake... Um, will overtake on some days Taylor Swift. Allison will actually put the cranberries on occasionally. 
Yeah, I'll have to do it in the backyard, though, because I, I, the fire department, I'd, I'd probably get fined for burning stuff. Okay, all right, make eh. Oh, Satanus Greatest Hits. I can actually put that maybe in the top pile. Top box. Men in Black, which pop is that? Taylor Swift? Uh, Allison, you have to block Man in Black. You gotta put him on timeout. Allison. I know, but he said if they made one, he would destroy it. So you gotta put him on timeout. Otherwise, you're not defending. He's you're, he, All right, Allison says you're just jealous. Just jealous. It's so funny. I found that... Uh, um, what you would call it? I found the uh, Angela Lansbury... Jessica Fletcher Murder She Wrote pop. I was going to give it to JB Fletcher, but I realized it's a seventy-five dollar Grail pop. <laughs> so I don't, I can't give it to him, but I might sell it to him for a discount. He's really excited for it. He was funny. JB fell asleep on his uh, whatnot show last night. It was hysterical. He was snoring away <laughs> with the giveaway on the screen. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Hey, Will. All right, I'm gonna get rid of one box. One box, let's get rid of it. Oh, I don't remember that uh, Family Guy episode. That would've been funny. Oh, Thelonious Monk can go on the wall. It's funny too, he had, uh, he had his music blast and it was like hip hop. So it was like horns and like rapping. He had his alarm going off really loudly. Uh, I called him. A bunch of people were calling his number. So his phone was ringing. And he was going away. It took him about 30 minutes. Then finally he rolled over or something and knocked his phone over. It was so hysterical. It, it was very entertaining. Everyone in the, um, on Whatnot and all the different channels um, were like saying, like, J.B. Fletcher's sleeping. It was like really funny. J.B. has a good sense of humor, though. I sent him two um, AI-generated images. One of Howard the Duck at a desk falling asleep snoring and one of Angela Lansbury. So he's... Um... Uh, well, I think there's just one or two Walking Deads, but not the rare ones. The rare ones I'm keeping. Because I love Walking Dead. I would love to keep that set, but they're just so common. Like all the rare... 2012 ones and the bloody versions and stuff. I'm keeping those, Will. I'm sorry. Even though I appreciate you so much, I think you're a great friend, Will. I just, I'm not ready to get rid of those. But if I do have someone trade them to me, you'll be first in line. First in line to get them. <laughs> Allison doesn't know how to convince me to sell stuff. I mean, she makes me sell lots of stuff all the time, but there's no coercion. We have a great relationship. Right? Anyone who forces people to sell stuff they don't want to sell does not not have a great relationship. That's how you destroy it. That's why people get divorced. That's how you destroy a relationship. So, yeah, Will, she's not going to destroy a relationship just so you can have a little piece of plastic. In fact, Allison rather see it get melted in the burn bonfire. Uh, okay, Merle. I'm probably keeping the Merles because those ones are rare. Will said that you have to convince me to sell him the rare. Oh, I said you'd rather see me destroy a pop than destroy our relationship. You know how many times I've seen people get into a relationship and then the girlfriend convinces the boyfriend to sell their collection. They sell me the collection and three months later, they break up. That's... Oh, Kind of the worst way to start any kind of relationship. Oh, I like you, but I don't like the stuff you like. So you got to get rid of all of it. No, you know what? I don't like you. <laughs> and you've already sold all your stuff. It's the worst. Uh, Gabriel, I might have a Gabriel I'm willing to sell because I don't think he's too expensive. He's like 20 or 30. I am getting rid of like the 20 to $30 Walking Dead ones as long as... Uh, 
they're not really 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 old ones like the 2012 ones i'm not selling just because i know even if i get them i could probably get the reprints but i want to have the original set because they're just so rare to get them these days okay this box is almost filled we're making progress this is awesome this corner will be slightly more cleaned up for tomorrow No, I mean, it's a different sign if you're kind of like a hoarder and have way too much stuff. I have way too much stuff. So I, I do agree to sell stuff occasionally. But it's a mutual decision. It's a, my God, we have too much stuff. Can we get rid of just the cheaper stuff? Or even like the in 2008, when I had to stop collecting, and now it's like, we just can't afford to collect. So I had to give up collecting. I was really, really sad. But, she's, but she let me continue to get the daily paper. So even for like two or three years before I had money again, I still got my daily Ziggy comic, so I still had a little bit of the joy in my life while cutting back. So yeah, sometimes you do have to make these hard decisions when life is difficult. But forcing someone just to sell stuff because you don't like the stuff is bad, real bad, because it doesn't it doesn't really uh, help the relation. It actually probably destroys the relationship. Sure, you, the person gets rid of their stuff, but then. Um, you know, they're mad at you, right? It really hurts hurts the situation. <laughs> that I mean, that Red Sonia statue is gorgeous. Absolutely understand you. I, I liked the movie back in the 90s. I really, really liked it, actually. Yeah, no, it's exactly. If there's... Uh, like, if your stuff is getting away and causing problems, I, like, that's that's something you got to find a happy medium. But if it's, like, me or my stuff kind of ultimatum, then that's, like, you know, that's not compromise. That's dictatorship. I've seen so many relationships break over that kind. Like, so many people break up with people after they sell to me because of that. It's very common. Very common for that to happen, actually. All right, Alice is tired and hungry, so we're just going to go for a little bit longer, and then we got to call it quits for the day. Uh, turtle stuff I don't get too often. I honestly, what I really need to figure out is a way to go hunting more, because most of what I stock in the shop is just what people trade in. And so what happens is people trade in what I have already. It's kind of annoying. Like, I would love to have a big, giant collection of turtle stuff, but since I don't have a big collection of turtle stuff in the shop, people don't think about it. But they see a pile of cassettes and like, oh, yeah, I have a bunch of shitty cassettes. You want my big pile of shitty cassettes? I'm like, no, I want your best cassettes. I don't want the shitty ones. Oh, okay. Well, do you, will you pay me a lot of money for your shitty ones? I'm like, no. You want to donate them to me? I will take them and try to sell them. But if you want to sell me your Nirvana ones for like five bucks a piece, I'll take those. So that's kind of how it happens. But so, yeah, I don't get turtle stuff that often. Right now we have... A small handful of stuff. We have the reprint of the Turtle Van that came out in the early 2000s. We have a set that's like in a really cool box of five figures. We have a couple of art toy turtles. Uh, we have a handful of the Funko Pops, but the movie ones, not the original set. So we probably have about 20 turtle things in the shop, which I show people. A lot of people are like, nah, that's not the one we want. That happens often as people want a specific thing not just hurdles in general or just not gi joe in general like i want gi joe i got gi joe funko pops no i don't want those i want original gi joe's okay i have this one from 1991 no i want 1984 ones so if people are like gen ask generally but most of the time most people want something very specific like people ask me like oh do you have anime funko pops i'm like yeah i have a whole wall of them I'm like oh do you have any of this anime i'm like oh i have two and then they're like oh no i'm only looking for this one specific really rare one i'm like okay it's a lot easier if you just ask me for that at first. And then I can tell you I don't have it. Or I have it. I know, we're so close. On the walk channel, I just need 30 more people to sign up and I'll be monetized. I'll be so happy about that. I can't, like, I just love the idea where I'm walking around. Even if I'm only making, like, a dollar an hour in advertising revenue. I love the idea. I'm just going to walk all the freaking time. I'll use my dollar budget an hour to pay for the... the subway so i can go visit please all right that box is full that box is full yeah i can't sell dark crystal that well at all like i've had the pop set here for two years i do love dark crystal when i had trading cards i actually lucked out and i bought 
24 boxes, a whole case for a hundred bucks in like 2013, I think. And I sold every pack for a buck a pack. So that's 36 a box. So I made $800 on that box. They sold really well. I wish I could find more of those packs. Now I'd have to sell them for two or $3 a pack. I don't know if I'm ready to sell them for two or three. In my own collection, I have Dark Crystal original, um, those kids puzzles. I have a couple sealed ones. I have some uh, like photo book kind of things. I probably have a dozen Dark Crystal items in my collection. I really like the Dark Crystal. Also, like the Secret Nim. I have a whole bunch of Secret Nim stuff in my collection. Like, whatever I can find. They didn't make a lot, but when I find it, I buy it. Oh, Digibrad, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Really, really, really appreciate it. I'm so close. If any of you guys have a second account and you want to subscribe to Pop Walks, I just need to hit that thousand. Thousand will take off so much uh, sort of that pressure of where I'm trying to really push it. And I can just focus on this channel again. I can focus on... I'm going to be trying to do a lot more whatnot stuff so that more people can buy cool stuff. I'm doing... I'm trying to work with uh, Streetside Anthony. Hopefully, we can start doing a weekly comic show on whatnot where we sell a whole bunch. I'm going to be making up really good deals, box deals, lot deals, individual deals. Um, and then, um, you know, I, we did pretty well on Monday on whatnot show. So, if the stuff starts selling, I'll try to get back to... Um, buying collections again i feel really bad that i haven't been buying them but i just i haven't been selling stuff fast enough and i sold a lot more cheap oh your dog <laughs> awesome i'm glad your dog likes watching me walk around <laughs> it'd be funny if he actually sits there watching the screen as i walk around that would actually make me laugh Thank you, Rodrigo. Yeah, the uh, the walk channel is technically my third channel. I have a comic channel too that I do comics a couple times a week, or whenever I can. Which on Sunday I'll probably be streaming on there for an hour or two at Streetside Anthony's place, and then we're going to do the whatnot show. Uh, I sell what's in my store. I don't really pull out things for the side because the store, I make way better money. I don't have to pay all the fees and I don't have to give a discount. Whatnot's kind of a wholesale discount thing. Everything is always cheaper on Whatnot. That's why I get addicted to buying on Whatnot because I'm buying stuff that should be 20 or 30 bucks for like 10 bucks. I appreciate that, Ted. Yeah, Ted. Ted helps out a lot. Ted is awesome. But so yeah, whatnot. I've been doing um, just the pops in the shop. Nothing special. Just whatever's in the shop's available. And if it's something that's been in the shop a long time, I can do a little bit of a discount. Uh, or if it's something cheap that I have too much of, a little bit of a discount. This wall is full. Woohoo! One job done. One job done. Oh, it looks like we sold something next to Simply Red. We'll put a nice uh, Michael Bolton right there. Okay. Well, oh, oh, something sold up top too. It's fun. I love when I fill in sections and then I start seeing spaces. It means something sold right there. So he sold three or four off the wall this week, which is great. Not a ton of money, but that's, you know, six bucks. Six bucks. And like you say, you know, what did I spend? Four hours loading this up? So four hours. I've only made six bucks so far. But the idea is that this wall is clean and ready to go. And over the next six months, it'll probably make me 200 bucks. You know, it's that kind of thing. So it's $50 an hour for that time. I just, you don't make it all at once. It takes a little time. It's one of those things where you have to um, just make it clean, plant your seeds and let it grow. Okay, so that box is emptied out as well. Move that over here. I'll deal with it tomorrow. Just my little, I have to remove these boxes right there. Yeah, I think about four and a half hours to get that done. Maybe a little bit less just because I was talking more. So I was distracted. But I also um, got the t chance to stream and stuff. So it was kind of like a dual job. So I also got value out of the stream as well. Uh, we got random tapes over here. This one is broken. Uh, what is this? This is uh, the big chill. So I actually tomorrow... I, I'm going to replace that case with one that's a little bit less desirable. So I have shelf space here for trays. Uh, all the trays are now full. No, I, there might have been some that sold this week. 
yeah, looks like there's room for one or two. So I think we did sell maybe 100 tapes this week just from the random trays and whatnot. Maybe not 100, maybe 50 tapes. Not 100% sure. Okay, let's get the last CD into the CD box. Yeah, and I did board games, and plus I probably jumped around and did other things. Uh, okay, I want one more CD for the good CD box. Oh, Best of Earth, Wind, Fire. Jason said that goes in there. Okay, so we got one, what I call, like, really good quality CDs. I'm going to put that over by the good cassettes. Just make it more appealing and not like a pile of junk. Okay. There we go. All right, CDs in place. I do need, so tomorrow I'll probably tape those up. I don't know if I have more better uh, CDs, though. They look like they're kind of picked over. Okay, I got to do that. Got to do that. Leave a couple jobs here for me. And this is a random box of CDs that I need to get rid of. Oh, meatloaf. That can go in a better pile. Uh, I mean, there's, you know, there's stuff in here that's decent music, but it's not, like, super sellable music at the moment. Honestly, most CDs just do not sell very well. Uh, okay, how long have I been streaming? I don't even know. Allison, what time is it? All right, eight oh five. We gotta close out. Allison's tired. I'm tired. We're hungry. Uh, follow me on the walk channel. I'm gonna try to do some walking tonight if I can. Maybe not full two and a half hours like last night though. I was exhausted. So think of some good topics for me to talk about on the walk channel. I'll see you guys on the walk channel in a few hours. All right, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.